May I speak in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. In the late 1950s, at a very young age, I remember electric light coming to town where my aunt lived in Jamaica. What a marvelous difference it made. At the flick of a switch, immediate light. We read that the Chinese were using volcanic gas and bamboo pipes to light the streets of Peking in 500 BC. Later on, the city authorities used candles, lanterns, oil and gas in an attempt to shed light on the activities on citizens after sundown. Gas lamps gave a subtle glow, but only reached a short distance from the lamppost. The dark areas between the light hid the shady world of criminals, prostitutes and their clients. In the 1870s, Paris led the way with electric street light lighting. In the UK, the London suburb of Brixton was one of the first to be lit by electricity in 1880. Cast in its brilliant illumination far and wide, electric light transformed the city streets. It swept away the dark deeds that were done under the cover of darkness. The arrival of this new bright light was hailed as progress, which improved safety for all. Indeed, the people who lived in darkness have seen a great light. The light of Christ has come into the world. The shadowy world of animal sacrifices was displaced once and for all time. Jesus, the sacrificial Lamb of God, the light of the world, is come. Christ, the light, draws us unto himself. Christ, be our light. Shine through the darkness. The epiphany is all about light. Isaiah, Isaiah's prophecy states that bearers of gold and frankincense will come attracted by the light. Matthew talks about the wise men who came from the east. They have seen the light, the light of the star, which they interpret as heralding the birth of a king so great that they felt compelled to make a long and arduous journey to pay homage to this king. Longing for light. <laughs> 